Utah's climbing community is remembering a legend tonight who tragically lost his life up Little Cottonwood Canyon. Yeah, the body of 68-year-old Merrill Bitter discovered yesterday, if you remember. New special Stan Rascone spoke to some close friends. He joins us live tonight. And Dan, this was an extremely experienced backcountry skier and climber. Yeah, that's correct, Mike. Uh, he was considered to be one of the greatest climbers to come out of Utah over the years. He was uh, basically in books and magazines and other things like that. But unfortunately, when he went into the backcountry uh, in Little Cottonwood Canyon on Wednesday, he never came out. So we're going to test that right now. If you ever need expert advice on climbing, to feel all right? you come to IME in Salt Lake. Not only do they have all the gear you need, there's a purpose-built ice climbing tool that'll probably feel a little bit better. But they have employees who are very experienced climbers. We're a hardcore climbing shop. But today, sadly, they are missing one of their dear friends. I think we're all very much in shock. A man who worked here for 22 years and a legend in the rock and ice climbing world, 68-year-old Merrill Bitter. And you would never know that he was one of the best climbers ever to come out of the state of Utah. You'd never know that. Bitter's body was found early Thursday morning in the backcountry up Little Cottonwood Canyon in Grizzly Gulch. He went skiing on Wednesday, but never checked back in with loved ones, and that's when they knew something was wrong. You know, he's precise in all he did. Um, and if he told he was going to call you at noon, he would have called, you know, it wasn't 10 seconds after noon that you would hear from him. Shingo and a friend found his car up the canyon and went looking for him. Yeah, I think probably he slipped and lost control, and... It's quite a steep drop, so. Well, it's losing a dear friend and, uh, uh, and a figure in the, in the community. Paul Harvey, one of the owners of IME, says he could always count on Merrill. The store would look probably a lot better if he were here right now. I'm having a hard time not crying right now. Yeah. Climber Bob Gray says Merrill helped him nearly 20 years ago when he was a poor college student find $15 climbing shoes. Today, he wanted to return the favor for someone who may be in need. I thought I wanted to... To give $120 to who these guys decide is the next person who needs a pair of climbing shoes, that I'll, I'll buy them in honor of Merrill Bitter. Yeah, a lot of memories being attributed to him right now. Merrill's brother posting on Facebook that he's so grateful for search and rescue teams, saying many of them are his friends.